Okay, so for open house, uh, like I said in class, uh, we're going to play a song that's going to require playing the ice cream chords, but it's going to require playing the ice cream chords in two different keys. Um, there's a reason, part of the reason why we need different keys is because we have different singers and each singer can sing a little different. So, and sometimes it fits in certain instruments better than others. So, quick recap uh, for review of the ice cream chords, the way we learn them. And there's, a, I will put in the description a link to the list that teaches all of that as well. If you need to review it more specifically. But we have our four chords that we use in that, uh, which the first one is C that looks like this, which requires putting the pointer finger on the second string on the first fret. The A, a minor chord, which means taking the C chord and adding, keyword is adding a middle finger on the third string, second fret. Then the F chord, which requires adding the ring finger on the fourth string, third fret. And the G, and you can play a G or G7, but for our purposes, I like the G better, uh, which is the pinky on the first string at the third fret. And we're just gonna go through those chords. And there you have it. That's basic review. Again, check out the link in the description for a complete overall uh, lesson about how to play these chords. Next, we're going to play the ice cream chords in a different key. Uh, we're going to start at a G chord this time. Then we're going to go to an E minor chord. Uh, e minor requires the middle finger on the fourth string. One, two, three, four. At the finger at the second fret. Okay. So that's the new chord that we have here. Then another familiar chord, a C. And last but not least is the D chord which looks like this. The D looks like a chord I'm going to need to kind of spend a little time with. You will probably need to spend a little bit of time with as well. As you can see, it requires all the fingers in not a typical position, kind of a weird position. I always think as the D is a sort of a triangle, I'm looking at these three fingers and seeing a triangle. One, two, three, that I with pointing towards the, uh, the rest of the guitar. It starts, so we start with the middle finger on the first string, second fret. We add the pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Notice that these two fingers are on the same fret at the same location. And the ring finger is gonna be here on the second string third fret we want to strum four strings if you get three that's no big deal and as you can see this is a chord that's going to be kind of the hassle chord the one that you're going to struggle with the most and one of the things i recommend is actually going to this one just practicing switching to this one we elaborate a little bit more on that switch we're gonna go for most of the time we're gonna go here from a c to a d that's gonna be the hardest sw switch because there's no common fingers so one way you can practice this is by taking your time and going fi one finger at a time i'm gonna play let's say just c and just one finger of the d chord Yes, it doesn't sound right because we haven't completed the whole chord, but this is a place to start. Next, we're going to add another finger to the mix. 
So, and we're gonna first do it in two stages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the C chord, go to the first step of the D chord, add the pointer finger on the third string, and same thing backwards. First take off this finger. So I got a C, stage one of a D, stage two of the D, and backwards, stage one of the D, and back to C. When you feel like you've mastered this, you can actually combine the two, the two fingers together. You can kind of see that I'm actually doing it the two stages one after the other one um, but very quickly because I've practiced this now that you've mastered this situation or this step I should say we can add the ring finger to the mix so start with C stage one of D stage two of D and the stage three last stage and same thing backwards D take off one finger stage two stage one and back to C then you, once you get comfortable with this add stage one and two and then See, I'm really taking my time to build up the, the ability to play these. Until you get to the point where you can switch from C to D. Okay. Once we've mastered um, these parts, Let's put it all together. We have G, E minor, C, and D. And back to G. Those are my ice cream chords in the key of G. Most of the song will be ice cream chords in this key. Okay, a couple of things to make your life a little easier uh, that can help. First of all, the E minor. The E minor requires just a note here on the fourth string. So let's say you're playing the song and your fingers are starting to hurt a little bit and you need a minute to stretch them and shake your hand and so on. What you can do is play the E minor, but make sure you're only playing three strings. That way you don't need to press anywhere, and when you're going to it... You can take a minute, shake your fingers, and get ready for the next chord. The only thing is you gotta make sure that you're back on the C chord in time. Don't go like this and start going like, okay, I'm gonna stretch my fingers, because this time... By this time, we already have to play C's and D's and other chords and you're out of sync with the rest of the band and the music. Um, okay, 